What's up guys, main man Sui here and welcome to the Sergei Dragunov 8 minute guide. Dragunov is a pressure monster. I've always likened him to a train, a locomotive that just is relentless. Once it starts going, it never stops. That's Dragunov, just this unstoppable and unrelenting rabid force. And he's like a magnet with the while running too. Dragunov, Spetsna style, he loves close quarters combat. It's all about CQC, being right in the face of the opponent up close and pressuring with throws and very oppressive mids. So he has while running too to make sure he's glued to the opponent. He's like a magnet. Oh, I'm far away, blam, I'm right in your face with big plus frames again. Oh, you pushed me out? Ah, I'm in, I'm in again. Ah, ha, 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 ha. That's Dragunov. You want to go in. CQ, CQC, motherfucker. If you don't want to listen to me, listen to Big Boss. So we get in and we use while running two. And we use back one plus two. Plus six on block. Knocks down on um, a normal hit into what? 45 damage or something? Yep. Huge damage. Uh, very good, but has poor reach. So you, ha you have to be up close. Uh, and then down to is the low option you mix up with. That tracks to both sides. It's not homing, but it's pretty much homing. Uh, that's it. La la, la la, la la. You now know how to play Dragunov. But yeah, there are some technical requirements here. While running two, it's hard to do up close. You're going to have to practice that. You have to be able to do that from point blank range. Yes, if you want to play this character, because it's just so oppressive with plus six and yeah just crazy frames and knocks down a normal hit you know can do a stomp if they don't uh tech i don't think you can tech that right no and uh, no wait you can tech that but if they don't you get the stomp either way a knockdown is always great uh wall splat next to the wall uh counter hit launcher it's pretty good it's pretty good uh, and you also mix the CQC with throws. Uh, one break, two break, and they come out at 11 frames. Usually it's 12 frames for command throws. Strong throw game. One, one and two break. Forward forward one plus two is one plus two break. 45 damage gives really good Oki afterwards. Really good Oki. Strong throws. And don't be afraid of doing ultimate tackle. He doesn't do the, the easy to break punches. He has a freeway mix-up with one, two, one plus two. Don't be afraid of throwing ultimate tackle. Uh, and his killer mids. They never want to duck this guy again. With all of them up for four. Guaranteed down for one free. Into Oki. Don't want to duck him. Super strong mids that you mix with those strong throws. And he has cra crazy strings. 1-3-1, one, 2-1-4, one, one, uh, back 4-3, very good mid-high for, for a wall splat. Uh, mix that with uh, back 4-2, for, for example. Uh, you can experiment here, he has a lot of really good strings you can take advantage of. Um, his whiff punish, oh my god, if you're away from the opponent, whenever you are, when you're not magnetizing, uh, down for 2, insane whiff punish, so much reach. Forward 1 plus 2, insane whiff punish. Core circle forward 1, insane whiff punish. And this is his electric, by the way. It's only minus 3 on block. So good. Really good. That's your electric. Uh, and then his space control, down forward 4, great reach. 12 frame mid. Back 3, great homing. Look at the reach. Space control. Space control. Control horizontal and depth. And again, down two is basically your homing move. This is his new season four move, a mid homing. He finally got it, but it's just way too slow. Yeah, I, I don't recommend utilizing that move. Uh, defensively, he has a counter that's very strong, punches and kicks. He has a super good backswing blow, minus 15, launch punishable on block. But you can set this up from so many attacks and strings. He has so much uh, evasion in that retreat. 
It's very good. A classic is 1-1-3 one, one, into backswing blow. It's really good. Back one is a mini backswing blow, but minus 10 on block, but they fear the follow-up. Back one, two. Back one is actually super good. Uh, try experimenting with, with, with that move. Uh, and then punishment. Uh, 10 frame is 2-1 or 1-3. 12 frame is 4-1. And then 15 frame, down for two launcher, great range. For while standing, 11 is while standing four. And interestingly, for uh, 12 frame, you have a tackle, frost tackle, but you also have a wall bounce in while standing one free. This doesn't have that good range, but still, that's a 12 frame wall bounce. And pretty much any low universally is minus 12. Super good. If you're next to a wall and you block a low, you have to just blow them up. Um, and then, of course, while standing two for 15 frame launch. Uh, really good. Uh, and then uh, combos. And it's basically launch forward 4-4-3 four, four, into 4-4. Four, four. And then dash in 3-1-4 is the easy mode combo. And you can do this pretty much after anything. Uh, if you get a wild running two counter it down two while standing four back one two is a really good combo. Uh, so how do you counter Dragonov? Don't press. Don't ever pr press. Don't duck. Keep your guard up. The lows aren't that scary. He can't snake edge if you're super close. So try keeping some distance to him if you can. But he probably won't be throwing snake edge too much. It's so unsafe. Um, but don't duck him. Uh, wait for him to commit to something stupid like down forward one four, uh, or one three, or back four to one. Usually they'll do something stupid, and you try to duck at the appropriate time. Uh, try to get decent throw breaks. I know this is hard, but you'll want to acquire decent throw breaks uh, if you if you plan on fighting a lot of dragonovs, because you don't really want to duck. The, the mids just hit too hard. Um, and yeah, he is much scarier here than he is here. Here he's going to rely on you with things, so he can with punish. So if you can keep some distance, try to do so. Because from far away, the snake edge, as you can see, it won't launch you. It needs clean hit. And uh, down two doesn't have that much range. Uh, and the froze, of course, won't connect from this range. So he's not scary from here at all. He might try to throw a, a slide, but that's minus six on hit. It's launch punishable on block. Uh, so he's gonna just try to while running two in, and now it's super weak to sidewalking. So sidewalk towards the right, and you'll beat down for a two as well. So just try to sidewalk him towards the right to beat while running two. It's, it's never been as weak to sidestep as it is right now. Uh, and beware of this wall bounce. If you're close to the wall, don't try to not utilize lows. If your back is towards the wall, this is so powerful. And he has the worst mid hitboxes in the game. His mids are almost highs. The hitboxes are so bad across the board on all of this stuff. So he's very weak to counter picks, like for example, Xiaoyu, Zafina. Any character that has a lot of high evasion is almost gonna evade his mids. So very weak to counter picks, which is why you don't see him too much in tournaments these days, when we live in the era of Zafina, for example. Uh, but so, that was Dragonov in 8 minutes. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.